Today I'm going to touch on a few different tools for crimping. We did some crimping in another video and for you homeowners, I'm just going to go over a couple tools and what I like about them and what I don't like about them. Um, so I'm going to start with this Home Depot tool and it comes with some crimps and this tool is a cheaper tool but it does do the bolt cutting that we need and it you know if you're not going to be doing a lot of crimping this is a pretty good tool so i'm gonna open it up this particular tool you can strip your wires here you have your 832s, your 632s, your 1024s, and these are all the thread sizes, so you screw your screw in there and you can cut them. And this is a new tool, kind of tight. But if you're not gonna be doing a lot of crimping, and you just want a crimping tool, this is a good value. I, I like this one for the value. Now this particular tool, is a Klein, and it is more of a wire stripper, but it does have crimping capabilities once you can get it out of the box. So, and I do like the way that this feels. It feels good into in your hands, and it'd be good for stripping. It's got a strong bite here, and it does have the 632 and 832 slots here for cutting but what i don't like about it for the crimping is you have to crimp back here crimp like that and when you're crimping like that way back here if you're doing a lot of it especially if you're making jumpers this gets to be a real pain so this is a good Feel tool, but it's not what I would do for crimping. It's good for stripping wires, and it has a real good feel for your hands. So, if you're going to be doing a lot of crimping or of wires, now this this Klein tool here does the wire stripping and it does the crimping up front. And what I like about, it has the wire cutters here so it can cut. What I like about this tool, it feels good in your hand and the crimping is, is way up front. So, oh, and it really gives a good torque, a really good squeeze because the handles are long enough on the, on the crimp. So you can really get a lot of force on here. And if you're doing a lot of crimping and you gotta get in there, this one's kind of rounded, this one's pointy. For a electrician tool, I would go with this. Homeowner, I would go with this. And then we do have the option of the big boy lime and pliers and some guys like these it's a great nine inch climbing tool it feels good in your hand um, but if i'm just going to do some crimping when i'm making a box on my barrel crimp i can use this tool and i don't have to have i don't have to have another tool in my bag because the less tools you have in the bag by the end of the day it's good so homeowner buy this kit this feels good for a wire stripper this is the crimping tool I was would use if I was doing a lot of crimping and this Klein lineman with the crimping option on it is good when I'm making up boxes and I'm going to do that a lot. So 
that is the little heads up on the crimping tools. Thank you. So, as an electrician, you would have all four of those things in your bag? As an electrician, I would have this, and I would make sure that my strippers have the capability of bolt cutting. And I might have a tool like this in one of my bags, yes, around my truck. So if I have to cut a bunch of screws or different size screws. And I like this lime and pliers. They're really nice. So I would have that too.